All right, guys, today we're here to do my movie theater tour for 2021. I'm really excited because there's been a lot of additions to the movie theater. Even though the general layout is the same, a lot of things have changed. A lot of things have been added. We got some arcade machines that have been added uh, to the movie theater to, to kind of mimic the look. We got, you know, a whole new section that we added. Uh, we upgraded the, the actual theater experience. Uh, for those of you guys who have been watching my channel, you would see that those two videos were posted before this one on different things that I did to the theater. But now this is a whole entire movie theater tour for 2021. And I'm really excited because I didn't think I would be able to do a lot of changes to the theater. I thought it was kind of like, you know, hey, this is the theater. I don't have a lot of room to play with. I, I couldn't see myself doing much back in 2020. But here we are in 2021 and a lot of things have happened, guys. So let's go ahead and dive into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech is the gaming tech, gaming tech is All right, guys, here we're with my movie room tour for 2021. It's been a long time coming. Uh, I actually did a lot of upgrades to this room. If you guys just saw that quick look on the movie room. So there's a lot of changes in here. Uh, I didn't expect to have a lot of changes in the movie room, but I was sure wrong in 2021. We haven't done one of these tours in two years because last year there wasn't much to show. But this year there is a lot to show, as you guys are seeing right here in the main entrance. So uh, let's get right into this and, and let's show you what we got. So right here on the right-hand side, uh, the arcade room is still the entrance there, but I made this like the Marvel corner basically as you guys are seeing right here Right before you enter there. So this arcade machine made perfect sense to be here So this is the Marvel arcade machine from arcade one up and uh, this is the special edition with the Sanwa joysticks and everything And as you can tell it's been modded with a retro pie and what's awesome is that I modded it with the comic books comic book style theme so everything just looks like it's a comic book and everything looks really really good as you guys can see here, it has like a really cool, um, you know, style of, um, you know, the, the comic book style. And then of course I also have what this main machine is usually used for is uh, fighters. That's the whole point of, uh, of this machine, of course. So this is my dedicated fighting machine. So I have a favorites list with everything, you know, that I have, you know, my favorite fighters basically that I've come across on the RetroPie. This is a RetroPie 4 and it runs these games really really well with no issues at all so this is a great fighting machine especially with these joysticks here it runs really really well and then right on top of it we have the certificate that came with this machine here and these two unfortunately i don't have batteries in them but they these two uh light up they're really cool how they look like they're popping out of the screen uh if it was turned on this would light up and this would light up as well which is really cool and then this is on the side here kind of showing the marvel comics style of bang pow and stuff like that i actually didn't originally have these on here i usually had this you know centered with the wall but the reason i couldn't center it with the wall is because later on i got this thing over here and for you guys who are not familiar with what just, what this is this is a pachinko machine and um i recently got this I did a full video on this if you guys want to check it out down below on how exactly all of it works but you know i had to put this new cabinet here uh, which we'll get into here in a minute and obviously you can tell the door didn't fully open as much as we wanted to so having this in the center would cause us to really have no room to come in and out of this door so the easy fix for that was just to move this cabinet over and then have these little signs here and actually it looks really really cool now regardless if it's not centered it looks really good and still functions really really well uh, when there's two people there playing and then the door can open a lot more uh, with this thing here in the way uh, so moving right along to uh, talking about this, we got the Marvel sign here that I like, and then my Disney Infinity characters, you know, 
right here on the left hand side i love those disney infinity characters uh, i still love the game too battlegrounds uh marvel battlegrounds at disney infinity is freaking fantastic it's like power stone with marvel characters and i would never give those up and here are the rest of them here above as well and then here is the pachinko machine i was talking about again this thing is really loud if you guys have never seen a pachinko machine this thing is freaking awesome especially this marvel one it, it has all these lights that you're seeing uh all the animatronics inside like the captain america shield move you know the avengers logo comes up and, and pops up the the uh mask there pops up the spider-man web pops up a lot of different things that this machine does even it shoots some air out of this corner as well and pachinko machines all use these little balls here if you guys are unfamiliar uh, and I have the little balls here ready to go. There's, of course, more on the back and more on the top. Um, and it's just a really fun machine. If you guys are into pachinko slot machines, uh, this is the fav my favorite one that I've seen, which is the Avengers one. They are really expensive, though. This machine um, imported from Japan, if you find it on certain websites, is like twelve to $1,300. So it's definitely not cheap. Uh, and I really like the fact that I have these um, buckets because these are actually the official buckets that are used over there in Japan for these machines. They're not just regular standard buckets. So really, really cool. Again, if you want to see more about it, check down below. Uh, then I have my Iron Man there. And then I put who was Stan Lee. I think that was a perfect thing to put over here. I was trying to figure out what to put there and this kind of fit perfectly. And then I moved my Marvel collectibles over here. So these are my Marvel collectibles. Uh, the shelf is uh, 95% done. There's a couple more things I want to put like you know, right here and right there just to uh, fill in the space. Uh, you know, shelves are never done. There's always stuff that you're adding, but it's in a really good place and there's a lot of cool stuff in here as you guys are seeing. Uh, if we take a deeper look into here, we got the Marvel um, book there. That's really cool. Back there, we got uh, Haley from Captain America, uh, otherwise known as Peggy Carter. Uh, have her autograph back there, which is really cool. And then we have um, Jessica from Iron Fist, which is of course known as Colleen, and have her autograph there, which is really cool. And then of course, from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to have her autograph as well sitting there in the corner. And then we got a bunch of collectibles here. We have Jessica Jones signed pop as well. That's autographed. And then we have a bunch of collectibles here in front. We got the Peggy Carter um, and Captain America Blu-ray. And we got all of these shields here and stuff. So really, really cool. Uh, some pins, collectibles, some figures there. Um, this thing lights up, which is really cool. Uh, this also lights up, which is really cool. Uh, I actually think it's turned on. I could probably just show you here real quick. Lights up just like that, which is really cool from Iron Man. And then underneath we have the Deadpool there. Then we have Stan Lee. Have uh, Stan Lee's autograph right there with uh, Spider-Man, which is really cool, and a card. We got this Spider-Man comic book, and of course the Spider-Man uh, figure which is really cool it has a bunch of different phrases it says uh, a lot of different things it can actually do same thing with the Deadpool head it does a lot of different things and a lot of cool um, animations and stuff if you guys haven't seen that same thing as this Iron Man here that does opens up his mask and stuff and, and has your video on it a lot of cool things that these figures can do um, moving right along if we swing back over here we have my Star Wars machine from arcade one up this is my Marvel uh, sorry my Star Wars pinball machine. So this is now my little uh, Star Wars corner here. Marvel and Star Wars being my two favorite things. So they made sense to put these in the movie room and kind of make them stand out. So we got the Star Wars figure there. Um, he actually does, he's motion activated, but right now I have it turned off. But if you press that button right now, he does do its thing. It's kind of guarding the Star Wars house there. And we've all seen my review of this. Again, this will be down below as well, but this is the uh, arcade one-up Star Wars machine that I have there. And then right next to it, I have my comic book stand, Hulk protecting the house there. And he has uh, a bunch of comic books there. And of course, also some magazines from Nintendo Power. You know, this is some 90s comics that are sitting there. And then a Stranger Things, some Pokemon comics, Batman comics, a bunch of different things there. Uh, Star Wars sitting down there. And then we even have some magazines from the Nickelodeon magazine. Um, Disney Adventures magazine, the 90s collectibles one, and J14, some old old school 90s collectible magazines that I really like that I have sitting on that shelf there. So that's really cool. Spinning back over here, we have of course my entrance to the home theater, which is here, and a bunch of collectibles here. This is just a figure, so that doesn't actually move or anything, but it looks fantastic from Transformers. I love the Transformers movies, uh, regardless of what everyone says, and love the Bubble Movie movie as well couple of Star Wars pieces here. Again, this one also lights up and turns on 
uh, has animated eyes and stuff. You can remote control it with your phone, which is really cool. Same thing with this R2-D2 here. Uh, this Ghostbusters one here as well. Also turns on, has some lights, has some noises there, which is really cool. You can turn that off. Then we have a bunch of my uh, Ghostbusters figures here. And then this is um, some stuff from Back to the Future. Really cool stuff that I have back there. I have the envelope, the official envelope, do not open until 1985. And the two letters from Back to the Future, which is really cool. Happy to have that as part of the collection. Uh, and then we have the Back to the Future like little card pack there and stuff, so that's really cool. Coming down here, we have some other stuff here. We have Video Game High School, the TV show, really like that. We have the Watch Me from the Ring. Uh, we have the Lord of the Rings ring there. We have little uh, small things there. We have the Power Rangers um, collectible, which is really cool. You can actually switch this out and this actually makes noises and stuff. We have these glasses here from um, National Treasurer. The Terminator, uh, we have some stuff from the Goonies back there, we have Pirates of the Caribbean, we have the Never Ending Story, uh, Necklace sitting back there, a lot of cool stuff there, um, and then some Star Wars stuff here at the bottom, and then of course my Back to the Future uh, hoverboard sitting there. So another shelf that's never going to be done, I have these Star Wars figures on the bottom to just fill the space, but these will eventually move to the Star Wars corner over there that has all my figures once I actually have stuff from other movies to replace here. Um, you, know, you can never have too many movie room collectibles. Everyone likes too many movies, so uh, there's a lot to collect if you want to. And then, of course, this little drop your tickets here that we uh, pass by. Then we have another big Star Wars figure here. We have Darth Vader. He again does the same thing. These figures are like four feet tall. He has his own sayings as well. And he's also motion activated if I had that feature turned on. So that's basically that corner of the room there, as you guys are seeing there. And then we have, uh, it's snack time with my popcorn machine sitting right here. Looks really, really good. And then of course my Epson projector, this is the 50, 50, uh, 50-40 Epson projector, 3D projector, because I love 3D movies in here. And then some, some figures back there, uh, talking about hot dogs and popcorn and stuff sitting back there. And of course my cinema sign showing off uh, snacks and treats like this was an old school movie theater with those prices that were like that back in the day. And then of course, right here, we have my snow cone machine. We have my cotton candy machine. We have, uh, have a Coke with some straws and stuff like that. And then my hot dog maker as well. So that's really cool. And then of course my candy, uh, candy, uh, concession stand. So we have, uh, you know, a bunch of different candy here. This would be more full usually, but since, you know, pandemic, there hasn't been a lot of people here. So I don't have a reason to keep this full because I, me and my wife can only eat so much. So it's not as full as it is some other times, but this is kind of uh, some of the candy that we usually keep here. And uh, there's usually, it's usually fully stocked when we, you know, this pandemic is over and people start coming, you know, over monthly and stuff. This thing is always fully stocked when people come over. So really cool stuff there. And then we have uh, two DC characters sitting right here, Superman and Batman protecting the house. And then right here in the corner is my Game of Thrones corner. I love Game of Thrones, regardless of what you guys all think about the last season. Uh, I love the show, and it's still one of my all-time favorite shows um, overall, and it was fantastic. Uh, House Targaryen being my favorite, uh, Mother of Dragons all day. And I have a you know the flag there. I have some sayings that are there that you guys can see, bend the knee and stuff like that from, from different quotes from the show, which is really cool. Then we have the House Targaryen Game of Thrones uh, bottle. We have the actual throne there. We have so all the houses represented with those cups there. We have the theme song that plays if you if you actually um, play this thing, which plays the theme song. We have the 4K Blu-ray showing off there. Um, and then of course we have the actual official book back there. Um, and then we have the King of the North bottle there. We have the dragon sitting there. We have uh, Daenerys Targaryen sitting there. We have some pins. And then my prized possession here, um, some auto the autographs by basically everybody that you see in this picture here uh, from um, San Diego Comic-Con is who's on here. So unfortunately, uh, Daenerys Targaryen has not signed this poster. Uh, I hope one day I get to meet her somewhere that I may get her to sign this poster. But I have a lot of great signatures on here, again, by everybody who's in that picture uh, so I'm really, really happy to have this as part of the collection here and add even more signatures. Uh, the two main ones that I want, of course, is the King of the North and House of Dragon, uh, the Mother of Dragons to be on that poster. But maybe one day I'll be able to get that facilitated. 
Moving right along here, we have the Game Room Boulevard, and this is the uh, curtain that I added this year, so this is also new. Just a blackout curtain, so you can't see any light coming from the Game Room. People are in the Game Room, and some people are in the Movie Room. Um, you can do that. And of course, here is my Movie Room that you guys can see when spanning across. We'll go into everything in detail here in a minute. So let's start off with the movie theater seats here. Uh, the movie theater seats are exactly the, the same way that they were last year. They're not new, uh, something I'm actually looking to upgrade um, next year to probably other seats. But basically with this seat here, with this, you know, it's the same seats as before. They open up, they recline, they have USB uh, connectors there. They have two plugs that you can plug in. I have all my special edition controllers for all the consoles in this room ready to go right there just to kind of show them off. And uh, that's really cool. It has a light up there if I want to turn on some lights. Uh, you know, it has, you can move your neck, the actual thing. And, you know, the cup holders and stuff are on both sides. And the thing that I did upgrade this year, though, that you guys should be familiar with if you guys were watching my videos. And you can see that link down below as well. As I added uh, the butt kicker. Uh, that's actually the amplifier that's sitting here in the corner. Uh, hidden away. It's actually the amplifier that powers both the drivers in the back of the seats. I can show you guys that real quick. It's just uh, something, it's a butt kicker that basically rumbles your whole entire seat is the easy way to put it. But if I come down here and I open this up for you guys, you can see the butt kicker is sitting there. And those are basically, it's almost like having a sub. I have one attached on each chair sitting on here and that amp powers it. it has a thousand watts of power, way more than what I need for those two things. And it just really shakes these things. And it works great for movies. It works great for games. And it really adds a whole new layer when you're watching scary movies and stuff. We were, me and my wife were already scared before due to the fact that we have Atmos speakers in this room as well. And now it's just even worse because now you feel everything in the seats. It's kind of like going on those Disney rides that shake, shake your chairs and stuff. And uh, that was a gigantic upgrade to the movie room. Uh, and it was my favorite upgrade that I did this year in this room for sure. So... Let's go ahead and start over here in this corner. We have the top 100 movies, uh, scratch offs. These are the movies that I watch. And as I watch them, I scratch them off. As you can see, I have a lot to go uh, as far as those movies go. Uh, and then we have the game rooms, uh, game zone sign there along with my speaker. And up here, we also have um, the light up uh, goal horn, which actually goes off when the Devils score. You know, New Jersey Devils, I'm a big fan here. When they actually score, I actually do that actually goes off on its own every time that they score, which is really cool, sync to the actual games. Right here we have the Ready Player One poster, which is really cool. We have my actual sub there, and then we have the Wreck-It Ralph poster, and then the Harry Potter poster sitting here. And they each got like a designated little corner on top of the shelf that kind of goes with that poster. So here is the Ready Player One section. You can see the coin. You can see the keys, you can see, you know, the books, the new book and the old book. We got some artwork books there, the 3D movie, you know, the adventure from Atari that they show off in the movie, the figures, the characters and stuff. And then over here in the center, we have, you know, the Wreck-It Ralph characters. We have the little arcade machine. Then we have my four 3D glasses that I use for movies. And then over here, we also have uh, my Harry Potter section, which includes the 4K Blu-ray set. Uh, I love that set. That thing's expensive as hell when we bought it. I don't know if it's still expensive now or maybe it even got up in price. Uh, then we have little pictures, which is really cool, of when we actually visited uh, locations in Portugal of where, you know, she actually wrote the books and stuff, which is really cool. We have pictures of us going to there um, as part of here. And then some of the books, one of them being in Portuguese, just to show that we went there. The figures, the wands, uh, you know, the hat that actually tells you what, what you know, if you wear the hat, it actually tells you uh, what whose house you're a part of and stuff so that's really cool and then underneath we have all of these games uh that are organized so we have the xbox 360 games going across we have some collectibles of course on each shelf as you guys are seeing there we have some skyrim stuff that we got at pax we have uh, connectables who forgets those rock bands you know stuff like that uh then we have a driver we have some batman stuff we have sonic uh all-star racing they're showing off some of my favorite games from the 360 there on the front uh of some of my favorite games then we have the disney infinity section there we have blur which is a fantastic freaking game that didn't get the credit it deserved and then we got a ps3 corner here so you can see what those ps3 games look like there uh, and my favorite games the motorstorm series and journey and a uh, little big planet showing there in the front and then of course we have um my wii u collection uh, a bunch of wii u games there 3d mario 3d world nintendo land uh some some stuff there that we collected 
Uh, here we have a small section for my PS4 and Xbox One, only because I do have a small section currently of those games, because most of my games have, I've gone fully digital for the newer consoles. And, uh, but there are some games that I didn't have physically, so I just made a little section here with some collectibles for the 360 and PS4 that I had, um, just because I had those cases. So we put that there. And then this shelf, of course, is the current Nintendo Switch. Um, this, I haven't really gotten fully digital. I usually actually try to buy a physical first, unless if it's like a small downloadable game. But all the Nintendo games and stuff, I usually end up having actually two. I usually end up getting a digital and a physical, because me and my wife have two separate Switches. And we're, you know, we like to have parties here, so we might eventually get a third and a fourth Switch uh, just to be able to play some local wireless multiplayer. So we actually end up getting a, a digital copy and a physical copy either way. But this is my physical collection here. Uh, Zelda, Pokemon Sword, and Super Mario Odyssey being my three favorite games on the system uh, that I've played so far. So, and we got some collectibles there, as you guys can see. Moving right along, here is all my t-shirts that I have. These are all my gaming t-shirts that I have that I sometimes you guys see me wearing in videos. Moving over here is, of course, my uh, Borderlands little section there. And um, I do actually have lights for all of these. Uh, there's lights inside. You can see the little pucks there that light everything up. I just don't have them turned on right now because it looks weird when we're filming this video. I'm sorry this gets a little dark in this corner here. Not a lot of light in this movie room. But... Um, here on the top, we have the Titanfall controller. We have a Microsoft Zoom case back there. Who forgets about those? You can't forget about the Zoom. We have the Call of Duty um, Special Edition drone that was sitting up there. And this is my Gears of War section. You can see I have the Gears of War signed by, the, by Dom, the voice who does that. He signed that. The Gears of War uh, game back there is signed by the whole entire team, including um, Cliffy B. So that's really cool to have that. The next section here is, of course, Halo, statue there, um, soundtrack to the game, some artwork and stuff. And then I uh, really, really like this section as a really big fan of Rockstar and all their games uh, from all the years. I have a bunch of stuff from them. You know, I have a uh, Grand Theft Auto um, bandana back there. I have the Grand Theft Auto Anniversary Edition Cup. We have the Vice City soundtrack. We have the Red Dead Redemption 2 Domino set. We have the Grand Theft Auto China Wars for the DS. We have uh, Max Payne. Uh, pill set back there. You know, a lot of cool stuff in this little section here. You know, L.A. Noir collectibles in there. Metal Gear Solid, Bully. You know, a, a, a table tennis t-shirt. I have a bunch of pins there from the Grand Theft Auto. So, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in that section there. And this is just a miscellaneous of anything that relates to Xbox. Because this is the Xbox shelf, of course. So, we have, you know, the uh, Assassin's Creed. We have Tomb Raider. It doesn't necessarily need to be an Xbox you know, game, a uh, specific game to only them. It just needs to be something that I played on 360 and that's where I kind of cherish the memories on. So Bioshock is there, Tomb Raider is there, stuff like that. Forza, you know, some pins and stuff. Uh, a lot of cool stuff in this little section here. And then here on the back, we have the Super Mario Odyssey poster, the Last of Us poster, and Halo 4. And then of course, here is my main entertainment system. Try to get out of the light for you guys as much as possible. The newly added things, of course, being the Xbox One X. Or sorry, the Xbox Series X sitting there. And the PS5 sitting there. Love both those systems. And then I use this room to kind of show off. Have one system that works on a projector. That is also a special edition of my favorite special edition. Since I can't own every special edition that exists, for example... For PlayStation 4, I kind of choose which one I like the best for all for each system and, and kind of keep that one. So Spider-Man being the PS4 version that I got. Of course, PS5 doesn't have any special editions. This is a Series X. But the Nintendo Switch sitting here, of course, has the Animal Crossing one uh, that I have here. Then we have the Zelda for the Wii U, which is really cool. Then we have the Star Wars Xbox 360, the Halo for Xbox Original, which is completely modded. Uh, with every single game that I own on the original Xbox. So that's really cool. Uh, we have the PS2 Slim Silver up there. We have the Final Fantasy uh, Special Edition there for the PS3. That one's also, I think that, no, that one's not been modded. Uh, the modded one is in the game room. Um, so we have that there. And then we have the GameCube. And then, of course, my Denon receiver that I have there. And then we have a 4K Blu-ray, which is what's sitting right there in the corner. Then we have some just controllers in the back that are, are charging uh, some Sono stuff that I have that goes to the, my outside speakers and an Ethernet switch and stuff like that. Nothing that important that's sitting there. 
Um, but yeah, this is my setup there. And then of course, before I forget, we have these speakers on both sides. We have a speaker there, a speaker there. The, they're uh, clutch speakers. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, but I have speakers there. And then I also have two speakers above, uh, just regular Logitech speakers uh, that are sitting above our seats. And I just use that for the Dolby Atmos. So we get the Dolby Atmos from the top. And then of course these speakers on the left hand side and my middle channel sitting there at the bottom. So the screen when it comes down doesn't block that center channel and doesn't block the left or the right speakers. It goes right perfectly in front of it. So it does a pretty good job of leaving those speakers open. And the uh, speaker, or sorry, the screen that I have is 110. So that's the uh, size of the actual screen. And something that you're seeing along the top there is something that I added new this year as well, which is my um, Philips Hue light sync. So we have the lights going across there. Then we have lights going across there, um, which really adds to the ambiance of the room. I did a video on that as well, which you can check out the link and basically how that worked out. Um, I know people are probably like, you're using lights on a movie screen that's a projector? Well, it actually turned out better than I thought, and you can watch that full video on how that actually turned out. So, uh, moving on from that, we actually have my next shelf here, which is of course the Sony shelf. We have a Twisted Metal um, and Ratchet and & Clank. These two things are really, really cool, really nice collectibles to have. Uh, the Sweet Tooth uh, car there is really cool to have, and the Ratchet & Clank series there. Another shelf that I'm really proud of here is a Naughty Dog shelf. A lot of cool stuff in here representing all their library, The Last of Us. That art book from Naughty Dog is basically every game they've ever done. That's a really rare and collective piece back there that shows artwork from all their games and stuff. We have Crash Team Racing back there, Uncharted 2. We have the Crash guy right here. We have Nathan Drake, of course. Um, Ellie sitting in there, The Last of Us, Naughty Dog, Uncharted on the Vita. Um, you know, so a lot of cool collectibles there. And then on this shelf, we have the God of War shelf that we have here. So that looks really cool in there. I actually, yeah, those uh, Vita cases, or, or sorry, the PSP cases actually move. They should be facing towards us. I don't know why they're facing downwards like that. So I'll fix that after the video. But either way, that's the God of War shelf with a lot of cool collectibles there. And the next shelf down here is my Kingdom Hearts shelf. A lot of cool collectibles in there as well from all the Kingdom Hearts games. Um, so that looks really cool in there. And then of course my, like I talked about before, this would be the shelf that I would consider to just be, you know, just like the Xbox shelf, just a, a shelf with a bunch of stuff in it, uh, from the PlayStation side. So we got some Spider-Man stuff, Little Big Planet, um, you know, a bunch of different stuff. We got PlayStation VR being represented in there with those glasses, a lot of VR, uh, Horizon back there. So a lot of cool stuff to look at in there. And then we got the Last of Us Ellie statue sitting here. Uh, Last of Us Part 2, I loved every minute of it, from the story, from the action to everything. Controversial, I know it's 50-50 out there, but I thought that game was great, and I had a lot of fun playing it, and I uh, loved the story along the way. Moving along here, we got uh, the Mighty Ducks, we got the Star Wars poster, we got the Transformers poster. This is my Star Wars collectible shelf. A lot of different figures that um, I have here on the top from a variety of different things. And this is like my movie room TV slash movie room shelf, depending on what I want to show off. Uh, more shelves of that. I kind of have them set to be themed. Uh, this one is the one where all my Marvel stuff was, so there's not really anything going on. This is going to turn into my Disney, my regular Disney shelf. In other words, things like Aladdin, Little Mermaid, stuff like that. Collectibles for the Disney movies. So not like every Disney movie, because we know Disney owns Star Wars and Disney owns Pixar, but just the Disney actual movies will go into there. Um, this is my DC shelf. So this is a bunch of DC collectibles to show off. Uh, we got the Batman Begins back there. We got Batman, we got Wonder Woman, you know, uh, the Batmobile there. So a lot of different collectibles. And then this is the Pixar shelf, a uh, little Pixar uh, stuff back there with the nice little artwork here showing off uh, two really great movies with a bunch of the Pixar characters from my Disney Infinity collection showing off there. And this is my favorite horror section. So we got Friday, the 13th there we got the ring we got a saw mask we got the ring uh, a bunch of different and then all the um you know main baddies from all the different horror movies and stuff so that's really cool down here and oh, these figures fell got to pick these up too these figures are on the floor but um either way jurassic park and avatar being one of my favorite my one of two of my favorite movies uh avatar for the 3d what introduced me to 3d jurassic park for you know jurassic park and we got some 
uh, Avatar figures there, even though they're laying down. We got some Jurassic Park stuff there. Um, here in this section is another two of my favorite movies. Again, talking about Transformers. We got the Transformers there. And then we got Titanic. So we can see that there. And over here, we got my Stranger Things shelf. Uh, this shelf turned out to probably be my favorite just because of how everything looks. We got this signed by Dusty here, the hat signed by him. Uh, we got a bunch of uh, stuff here from Stranger Things, as you guys can see. We got the 11 Egos back there. We got the Stranger Things uh, box VHS set that they came out with. We got the bat here. So a lot of cool stuff there. And over here is my TV show DVDs that I had back there and my favorite movies, or sorry, my favorite TV shows, uh, Born Meets World, Family Guy, and Yes, Don't Hate, Hannah Montana, I watched that, and that show was fantastic. Um, so those are sitting there. And then as we come back over here, we just got the Family Guy Blu-ray set sitting down there for the time being. And then we got all my Disney Infinity, um, you know, story things that you can play with and then all of these house my controllers nintendo up there playstation or xbox down there and, and playstation sitting in that corner and uh, then we got the lightsaber sitting there and uh, then we come back over here we got an ipad and this ipad is cool because basically it just controls everything in the movie room so if i were to press this i can just hit one button to do anything i want in the movie room so if i want to play xbox it will turn the screen down by itself it will bring it down without me doing anything it will turn the playstation on or xbox or whatever system i'm talking about it will turn the projector on behind me set the correct input turn on the dead and receiver and then i can control the sound right from here if i want to and you know do any settings i need to so it's all controlled from here really simple to just press one button and get everything to work in here because obviously there is a lot of consoles here and a lot of things to do so i wanted to make it as simple as possible in case i wasn't home for somebody to play so it makes it really really simple and yeah that is my movie room tour for 2021 guys there is a lot hopefully i didn't miss anything here that you guys wanted to know about this is a lot longer than i thought but there was a lot to talk about this year a lot of changes that happened you know especially this entrance here got the most changes you know the marvel and star wars corner uh had a lot of changes uh that i added the comic book stand you know got changed uh the upgrade that i did to the movie theater seats with this receiver here adding the buck kicker was huge adding these lights uh to the movie theater adds really cool effects when you're playing games and movies so that's really cool and um i'm not even sure if these two shelves were fully decked out two years ago when i did the movie room to them maybe they were but either way uh yeah i added a lot of collectibles you know to that movie room shelf over there um so yeah there was a lot of stuff i did this year um i don't know how much can change anymore uh the, at least until i move out or get a different house or if that ever happens or you know whatever but I, i'm really really happy with the way that this movie room is turned out uh i the only thing i want to do like i talked about is upgrade the projector to uh, a, a true 4k projector eventually because the epson one i have is a 4k enhancement one which still looks fantastic but i'm waiting for a 4k projector that doesn't cost a million dollars and also has 3d integrated at the same time that's better than this projector because even though this isn't a 4k projector it does a damn good job to make it seem like it is um and then of course i want to update these seats eventually because um they need to be upgraded but other than that, guys, if you guys have any questions about what you guys have seen today here in the movie room, leave those questions down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time.